One of the methods for adding data to your catalog is to import it from a spreadsheet. Begin by clicking the Import File Selection button on the main menu. Double click the File to be Imported box to select a spreadsheet. This form is a window directly into the spreadsheet. As different programs cannot access the same data at the same time, make sure that you do not have the spreadsheet open in Excel. One of the things you can use this form for is to check the data for problems. The data is imported from a spreadsheet as text, and normally this conversion is done automatically. However, if the column contains a mix of text and numbers, or if the numbers are calculated by formulas, you'll see this symbol here. Before you can import the data, you'll need to correct this problem. Exit this form so that you can open the spreadsheet in Excel. In Excel, select the column which contains the error, and then select Text to Columns from the Data menu. This will open the Text to Columns wizard. By default, the data type should be delimited, so for Step 1, just click Next. The delimiter should already be set to Tab for Step 2, so you should also just click Next. On Step 3, select Text as the column data format, and click Finish. Repeat this process for all columns containing numbers. A category name is required for every row. You can use Excel's autofill function to quickly create this if your spreadsheet does not already have it. Insert a column and enter the category name on the first row. Then move the cursor to the bottom right corner of the cell. It should turn into a plus symbol. Drag the cursor down the rows to enter the same text on each row. The autofill function can also be used to create number sequences. The print order numbers that Clevercat uses will be automatically created if they do not exist, but you can use autofill to create your own numbers. Enter the numbers on the first two rows and then use autofill to drag the sequence down to the rows. For this example, we're going to create a simple sequentially numbered column and call it My Index. An index is not a required step, but in the next tutorial, we'll show you how this index can be useful for synchronizing the spreadsheet with the database. Clevercat can only import Excel XLS files. If you're working with Excel 2007 or later, save the spreadsheet using the Save As option and select Excel 97 2003 Workbook. Now, back in the preview window, the num symbol has disappeared, even though the column still contains a mix of text and numbers. This is because the entire column is now interpreted as text. If your spreadsheet has no other problems, you are ready to continue by clicking the data mapping button.